10, Tolsons take a walk through one of the darkest chapters in our city's history, the 1921 race massacre. A flood of people touring through downtown, stopping at historic sites through Greenwood. Chelsea's Gustavo Ogin was on the tour as well and joins us live. Gustavo, where did you guys go? Haley, from the Drexel building all the way to the Mount Zion Baptist Church, a group of middle school students and their teacher guided over 100 people on a journey through time, hoping to preserve something they say Tolsons should never forget. <laughs> it's like walking a timeline of exactly how the 1921 race massacre played out. When you start digging in Tulsa, it's very difficult not to dig this up and to start thinking about it. Starting at the Drexel building, where an incident between a black teen and a white woman set things in motion nearly a hundred years ago. It's really a powder keg for something horrible to happen. For an angry mob to march on Black Wall Street, the Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences took dozens of people to the black community's once vibrant Greenwood district. Walking around and actually seeing the real locations and um, and getting a stronger sense of what happened was really, really amazing. The next stop on the tour, the original sites of the Booker T. Washington High School and Dunbar Grade School. This rare video shows how lively the area was after the neighborhood rebuilt. You can see so much growth happening, and so that in juxtaposition to the, the um, violence and tragedies of the past is always really heavy for me. Teacher Dan Hahn says his students are already learning about the massacre in class, giving him extra helpers answering questions. It feels like trying something new for once. Because I never actually had this class before or actually heard of this class before. It feels good, though. The tour continued back down Elgin, passing the Mount Zion Baptist Church, one of the most iconic buildings destroyed. Here's what it looked like a few years later, the rubble still lining the street. Han says he wants his kids to see Tulsa's history firsthand. Those kids are going to carry that into their adulthood and hopefully revert some of those mindsets that our forefathers have had that have caused things like what happened in Tulsa to happen. Now, TSAS says they were only expecting to do this tour with their middle school class and some parents, but when they showed up, over 100 people were there waiting to go on this journey. And with such a popular response, TSAS says they hope or they might do this again, but they want to bring in community leaders and experts to dig deeper into this issue. Reporting live, Gustavo Alguin, Tulsa's Channel 8. Thank <laughs> you.